juice like a snow cone. Ice in my veins and a cold flow. I'm getting cash overseas by the boatload. You want to ride my wave? That's a no-go. Senorita's going loco. Make it bounce like a pogo. All my haters see rojo. They big mad because they're coming up short like Frodo. Activate the beast mode. I keep it hot. Give your brain a heat stroke. You ain't a big shot. You some basic B-roll. The world is mine like my name's Pacino. Hey, it's Nico. I guess I'm back. Catch me in the fast lane on the right track. And my shorty is a 10 like a dime bag. Got me feeling like a milli. Check the price tag. Got the party jumping like crisscross. Got the gold chain and the wristwatch. Pull up on the scene like a big shot. EDM and hip hop. Ain't no time for piss stops. Got the party jumping like crisscross. Got the gold chain and the wristwatch. Pull up on the scene like a big shot. EDM and hip hop. Cause my style. 2023 SK 스타워 스플릿 우리 은행 원 그랜드 파이널을 이 자리를 함께 해주시는 많은 팬 여러분의 뜨거운 환호 탐성과 함께 Uh, kind of known as the bamboo shoot because he is growing up so fast. That's why they were comparing him pa to pandas before during the trash talk. We do get owner uh, jumping onto the Malkai alongside of the Aatrox that Zeus was so good on. And but definitely a clear sign that T1 wants to try and punish this Zeri very early on. Is okay, the Camille uh. coming in <laughs> here with the Sejuani. That is a very strong one two towards the top side of the map, but. Leaves me a little worried for both sides, because if you play towards that Camille against Lucianami, that's a risk. And what saves it for me a little bit is the fact that they do have this Tulia. Because Absolutely. They... Pretty huge. But guys, it looks like we're ready to hop onto the rift for game number one. Let's do it right now. I'm looking for a day on Zeus here. Yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good, actually. Let's see how Zeus deals with it. Puts in the Q3 and a Peanut, who just dashes away and says, actually, you know what, never mind. Drew just going to have to get out of dodge. That's uh -oh. not what you want. Yeah, the light's getting in there, and he's getting punished for every single time. They're just going to stick around here a little bit longer, but the vision control here for Genji has allowed them to, as we talked about pre Talia here, pre-6, still have a relevance bottom and top. Uh, okay, we have Faker here, actually. And the second they see him, they're like... get a kill or two, they can start snowballing the game. Yeah, like you're saying, it comes down to the setup. But speaking of setup, we got Doran, who has trapped Zeus in the hex deck. And here is Chovy as well. Gets up to the top side as a flash even is going to come out of Zeus. He's trying to survive here, but will not be able to. No more sweet spots come in. That's first blood over to Chovy. Uma, and here's it's not going to be a dive. They can actually turn into kills. And what T1 wants so desperately is for this early uh -oh. game. Uh-oh. Yeah, you got a little play here, a little scrum going it's on. But, but it's not the massive advantage they were hoping for. Little play here. Let's see if Faker can just run it off again. Yes, he will. Talia still having that burst, but not going to overchase. Yeah, Talia really needing at least the first item before you do a lot as uh, in Delight goes. Oh, we got the calling Delight. coming out here. Delight not people to get over that wall. He's All right, that ward spotted him going in. They want to set something up. The area is coming up to the top lane, but let's see just how many Gen Z members are going to be here. We got four, but it looks like T1 is able to respond to it. He's actually relevant. As owners oh. commit the ult. Yeah, Doran doesn't have Flash. He does have the Hextech ultimatum, but he doesn't have his life anymore. The hook shot not going to work out. Okay, he's going to use it and just get brambles fast. The collector here, of course, with the Jace Lethality coming online here for Faker as well, is that this Mountain Drake is going to get so much insane value. They're also running that tanky Sejuani frontline. Really it's looking for T1 to explosively try and push leads and fight uh, Zeus. Zeus is like, oh crap, I am maybe dead here. He's going to Flash. Let's see if it works out as the sweet spot is just going to be dodged. Great Sindel. uses of the Hextech ultimatum there on that final moment as Paze should just be able to walk this one out, see if they can get the whole turret. Delight's here to help. Uh, he's over the wall. He's going to clean out the wave as a double bubble comes in. Here's Toby just surfing on it, looking for the play. As they knock up carry it down, he goes. And now T1 going to look to run away from this one. His owner doesn't even have to flash. 
Um, as uh, Zeus is going to try and chase this. No world ender. Flash available. I don't think he gets him. Yeah, not yeah, even. The gonna... upfront burst that's available here. Two Chovy is incredible. As Faker. Here we go again. I mean, this is the same kind of gang. We got a teleport now from Doran as Hextech Ultimatum. And Faker just can't get away as this Camille is just being a huge thorn in the side of T1 right now as they set up yet another pick. The ultimate is kind of a classic, but then being able to preemptively predict whatever uh. T1's gonna try next as they're not done. <laughs> Imagine being Zayus trying to play this game right now. Like he can't get away from the Gen Z members as he is doing an incredible amount of damage. Oh. And now Gen Z are looking to get turned on here actually as there is no way for Doran. He is going to hook shop, but he gets knocked out of an air. And that will be the end of him. Toby also having to flash away, but you're not getting away from Maokai as he is going to look to take down this kill. It's actually Peria who gets it out of anyone. Well, and help slow Toby down. We and got a fight Dragon brewing Dragon. right now. We got this Cloud Drake that is about to go the way of Gen Z. It's Ultra being thrown into owner as they do get some face, but Doran might just go down, but a oh. game comes in from Goliath to open up this fight. And Gen Z now running straight at them. They who's trying to go 1v5. He's going to be shut down and that's a kill into the hands of Doran. Dragon Pit set themselves up for Soul Point. And then, initially, you see Doran go in there and you're a little bit worried, right? This is into <laughs> To a Maokai, the peanut all doesn't actually hit, but the follow up from the light here absolutely incredible pace, sees an opportunity, and goes in. Yeah, and it's just really simple front to back from there. Zayas tries to come in here, maybe get a dust blade reset, but he's isolated alone. A faker, as he has been doing a lot of this finals week, it is going to be able to get some turret damage yeah, done. If you don't take control of this game in the next 10 minutes. Uh, okay, Faker doesn't trouble. have flash because he flashed after throwing a Herald into mid, and that should be the end of him, as that will be a kill given once again over to Pace, who is 3 and 0. Well, with his nature's grasp, they still have damage here, not at all, not enough to contest, teleport committed. They're gonna try for this. Yeah, let's see how it goes. You got teleport now coming in from Doran. He is a bit away from the team, but the damage is slow at this point in the game as the poke now from Guma does come in. The wave as well. Zeus trying to set something up, but they just immediately turn up and he has to flash the wall as Guma goes in and immediately gets blown up and it's stolen by Odor who takes it down right away here in game number one. Now they're all gonna get massacred in this pit. That's something you wanna do. Even they the light has Radiant Virtue. Like, yeah, they're they not Dealing damage. They can't slow this down either. They need to somehow slow it. And look at the oh, Weaver's Law. just going to yeah. deny them entry. Whoa! He's just going to flash over. Owner desperate to get in. He's not going to steal one this time as Pace gets into the pit. We do have a chance as Doran is knocked out of midair. And Gen Z trying to fight their way out of this one. Delight has an angle. Does knock up two. And the damage might just be there for the side of Gen Z as Guma is just being hounded down. And Gen Z are chasing them like hyenas in a pack that's looking to take them down Toby is going to be hustled here by Faker as the damage trying to be put into Peanut. They're desperate for anything at this point as Faker will get the one, but it is not looking good. They're being hounded down here by Pace. Caria as well will bite the dust and Faker will come next. It's a double here once again for Pace. He hasn't done that for Time's the entirety cheap. of summer. Yeah, hey, take a look at the AD carry dip at this point in time. The Lucian has not worked out. Well, let's see what their approach looks like, because they have zero vision. Okay, they put in the blue ward. Now they know what's happening. Will they be there on time is the question, as we got a wall already coming in. Owner is able to get in. He doesn't have flash, though, and he's just zoned away. So unless Zeus, nope, he's not going to get it. That's just going to be barren. as well you mentioned like radiant virtue on the light peanut going full armor sunfire uh -oh. here we go again faker is going to have to flash the Zeus, he nearly dies he's just trying to stand here he's an atrox and now you can't get away from this camille so Zeus is going to go down we got a tidal wave coming in faker desperate to keep them around to get something done and pays he has nowhere to go what? so he just goes forward he just takes them out and he wants to take it away they all get eased it's a clean one and genji will push down mid for game one uh incredible plays here from genji i mean they're so far ahead they can afford to make moves like this pays he knows he has ga his ultimate is fantastic there he does tons of damage 
And because he has GA, he won't end up dying. 12, 0, and 6 on the Zeri here. It feels very 10 p Pace gets spring MVP last season. It was Ruler who won the first title of the three they're looking for on the Zeri last summer. And man, it's just a new generation of G 10 g in this first game. That's it. Game number one. あ、もう、ベースのファーストで、カウンターカウンターあ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ